Hello everyone, today I'm making lunch for my visitors, for my sisters are coming and um, a few friends of mine. So I just thought, okay, I, I want to make something for them. And what I found was in the fridge, some mussels, some herbs, and I saw some sardines. So I thought to myself, you know what, let's just make a little rice dish here. So what I'm going to add is my cinnamon stick not a lot because it's not a big pot and of course i like adding a star anise so it's like a acne but not but yes it is curry leaves i like a lot of curry leaves karamonk three and allspice and hoi and some fennel and cumin seeds. I think I'm going to throw in a little nalchi and I want a nalchi in there. The nalchi is used for other occasions. I'm going to get some crushed chili. You get it so gitty. Oh yes, a bay leaf. I like this combo, but if you don't have all of these things, don't stress. No, don't no stress. Throw in what you have. No? Throw in what you have. One onion. And about a cup and a half. About a cup and a half. Was the two cup this I can imagine. But more, more or less, two cups of basmati rice. I'm using. Of course, my favorite speckle. <laughs> now I'm going to put in chili. Now, yummy. You're gonna let this fry. Eva <laughs> I, I was thinking the other day, we grew up when my mommy them uh, taught us how to make food. They would say, Oskano Esther, we're gonna smoor the Eva. Be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add garlic and ginger. A tablespoon of garlic and about two teaspoons of ginger. I'm gonna add my spice. So in here, I've got a teaspoon of a teaspoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of masala. And this is a very old container. And all these marks, it's because it's so old. And if you use a scrub, you lose all the patterns. Like what happened here, it's supposed to be flower patterns. So we just wash it off with a cloth now. Okay, I'm gonna add my spice. Remember, the turmeric is in here. I'm looking for the last of it. teaspoon of salt salty so I'll just see during the process of the cooking should I need more salt mm -hmm. 
scorciotte I'm just going to do this for about five minutes. And the next step, we're going to add everything in, including the rice, and just close the lid and let it go. Okay. Okay guys, 400 grams of mussels. It comes in a packet, but make sure you wash it off properly and clean it the back. Or oh, someday some will be maybe a little bit of hay or extra dirt, so just wash it off. In the way. In with the rice. Don't leave a crumb behind. No one can afford that. Even okay, I'm gonna pack my sardines on top. Final stir. My hrachi is edible inside it, but you can take it out if you want. For those who didn't know, it is edible. <laughs> Remember when you use raw rice, you're going to have to have extra water to cook the rice. I'm not going to stir it much. No. Some uh, fresh coriander. And this will go for about 20 to 25 minutes on a medium heat. <laughs> okay guys, it's, time now. it's almost that time. I tasted it and I needed a little bit more salt and I added about a quarter cup of water extra because my rice was still a little bit hard. Okay, now I'm going to stir it. And you see there's still water there. So now you're going to just let it go for about another 5 to 10 minutes or until, can you listen, until the rice and the liquid has cooked away. Guys, there it's done, and you know it's done when 
the rice is sticking to the bottom of the pot. Don't worry about that. It will come loose as the pot is sitting. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Loose and fluffy. Lots of flavor. Okay, no honey stove after. Oh, they're ready for my guests. Serve a sly with this pickled onion and some fried onions. Okay. And yet is guys my mussel and sardine acne quick and easy. Look at that. <laughs> and you serve it just so in your pot. Delicious. Easy peasy. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. <laughs>